So I have something funny to tell you. <laughs> That's because I was on mute. So <laughs> we are here and now we're officially able to hear me. I was on mute the whole time. <laughs> were you? Okay, so we're, we're not on mute and we are live. Take two. What's up, right? All right, so let's start again. This is um, the funniest uh, live, right? And we're going to start again. The first few minutes you couldn't hear. So what did I say from the beginning? Oh, right. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks for watching live and sticking with us when you couldn't hear us. And thanks for those that registered that we had to actually have to say, can you please go and watch us on live or on YouTube or wherever you find us because we're having technical difficulties and we thought this was going to be fun and it is except this lawn of love requires a few extra acoustics that we didn't plan for and i don't even know how's my lighting oh it's not bad okay good no yours is okay good guys i have a little mine might be a little bit bad. yours might be a little bit bad okay so right so uh who are we and why are we here take two my name is Erica Rose Siegel, and I'm your grateful realtor. And I'm here to help you with all your real estate needs anywhere in the U.S. or Canada. And I'm also the co-star of the show. And who am I with? Well, you're with me, Jasmine. I'm Jasmine Yan, and I am your super savvy shopper here. And we're here because we're celebrating, or we're here to celebrate your success Sundays, where we alternate and share ideas, techniques, and different information about how to watch your wallet with the two most important things right now, which is shopping and real estate. Nice, nice. And by the way, if I lower the volume, I don't hear the echo. So we are next to each other on the lawn of love. Hello. And if you have not been here, you're missing out. You are totally missing out. And so tonight's Jasmine's night. You know, we alternate, we talk real estate, we talk shopping. And we're gonna be talking a little technology today because something tells me that everybody is dealing with technology. So, um, Jasmine's going to make sure she talks to you about how to save some money when spending on technology. And we have people coming out. Hey, hey, hey. So, um, folks, if you have any questions, uh, comments, need clarification, I'm going to ask that you be patient. And don't be shy. Because uh, here's the thing. Jasmine has been, and I'm going to tell you this, something's up with my mouse. And thank God it's not a real one. I've had to scroll <laughs> like 14 times and it just keeps moving. I don't know if I'm touching something, but uh, the, it, the screen keeps moving. So I'm just going to pretend like I know what's going on. I know what's going on, but there's some technical difficulties. <laughs> so guys, if you have questions, uh, yeah, comment, like, share, ask them below. And we're going to answer them after the show because right now we can do only one thing. Yes. And that is I talk, she talk, and that is all the things we can do at the moment. And I'm sure the teachers, Jasmine, feel this way when they're teaching sometimes. It's like, no interruptions. Like, that is all just watch, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, this is so perfect. So, yeah, we're here. And I'm going to start by asking you some questions. So, uh, as I did mention earlier, this is so interesting. Uh you mentioned earlier, not me, uh, you're a special ed teacher and you've been working for the Department of Ed for 18 years. And I know you've gone back to school. And so I'm here curious, being that you're going back to school and my God, my screen just keeps scrolling. So my computer is actually doing a dance <laughs> right now. And so I can't even really see my face on Zoom, which is fun, right? So hopefully you see me if you don't. Um, you can hear me, right, Jasmine? Yes. Amazing. That is a plus. And maybe there's a product I could buy to not make the computer s swim, but that's <laughs> happening right now. As so, we hear the ice cream in the background. Yes, exactly. So special ed teacher. And I'm curious, how do we, what do we do to help educators, parents, and teachers prepare for the school year? Like what's happening? Well, I think a lot of people are nervous about the school year. So I think it's going to depend. Um, ice cream truck man is here, so that's going to be a disruption. This is what happens when we try to like change up scenery and try to uh, change <laughs> change our days too. Um, anyway, 
So I think a lot of people are nervous and a lot of people are scared about having their students and children go back to school and educators, anyone who works in the school system or just anyone who's like working in the real world, right? Going out, taking the train, um, you know, working in their building, being around people. Uh, so I think it's really important that we need to know that, you know, for educators and students and parents right now, there's so many sales going on. Like I know a lot of people do shopping in August, but if you haven't, you should definitely check out a lot of the stores right now, like Staples, 99 cent stores, Walmart, Kmart, they're all having different sales. And, you know, because of the pandemic, I think a lot of people aren't realizing they're so nervous about their health and going back in. Like, uh, if you've been watching on the news, I think at this point, yesterday, there was 22 teachers or educators that have walked into the New York City Department of Ed building that have tested positive for COVID. So a lot of people aren't realizing that even though they might be positive, they don't have the symptoms and they're walking in buildings and there's a possibility that they're affecting others. So I think supplementation is really important. You know, like if you're watching the news, Dr. Fossey says vitamin C, vitamin D, heavy duty antioxidants are helping. Like for me, you know, I like to build up my immune system. I think it's important. I take immune, right? It helps boost my immune system. Heavy duty antioxidants. I take OPC3. You know, I take, like we were talking about vitamin C. I have my vitamin C here and I have vitamin D. I take it every day. A majority of people are lacking in these supplements. And it's really important that we supplement our bodies so we can build up our immune system, you know? And like I said, a lot of people don't realize that Labor Day, the Labor Day, even though it passed, there's a lot of Labor Day still still going on. And if you haven't heard yet too, there are really some places are making Black Friday a full two months. What? Okay, so hold on. I got I got We got to slow down for a minute here. So I want to talk about a couple of things that you you just noticed. And guys, if you notice me staring over there, it's because she's literally within like inches of me. We thought this would be fun to do like you know our our celebrate success on the lawn of love and what we did to prepare for is Mr. Softy coming around. And he's probably going to offer us ice cream. No he's kidding. He's going to be coming around up and down. He's going he up and down. He might actually be asking me for Bayside. money because I owe it We're to him. We're in Bayside. But what I want to step into, by the way, just because we were talking about things that are extremely important, um, you know, the supplements. We were talking about also just like that Black Friday is like two months. I mean, thank God. And one of the most popular things that I know people buy during Black Friday is electronics. And I know when we were originally preparing for this, because we prepare, right? We don't just like roll in here. We just, um, what we didn't prepare for is the logistics. So now when you're teaching and you were used to teaching your kids in like one type of house, and maybe you had the opportunity to be on like your lawn or your like dining, you, you, your patio and you could have some air and spread out with the kids. And now you're all going to be in one house or maybe you don't realize there's going to be music pumping up, pumping up, pumping up, pumping up. So just thinking that the extra things that we could have right now that I didn't even know to buy, like the headphones or like a mouse so that you don't hurt your wrists. And if we have Black Friday for another two months, we're talking about that. I mean, that's crazy. And that's also really incredible because you might discover when you're homeschooling or home teaching that you need supplies you never even realized you're going to need before because you're trying to make another set of office for all your children, hybrid learning. You have different like in the school, at the school. So guys, just really count on Jasmine here because she's a wealth of knowledge and um, had, there's so many things we don't know that we don't know about what we might need to teach or to potentially do any type of Zoom call. And Jasmine could probably go and Google tonight some discounts for us and be like, yeah, these are all the things we could have for next time. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really important that people are, um, I think a lot of people also focus on brands. And that's another thing right now because of the pandemic and everyone's still nervous, even going into schools currently um, as teachers, as educators, even parents, right? Your, your child's going to be going into school on the 21st if you chose blended learning. And if they're doing that, they need to have antibacterial gel. They have to have masks. 
there's so many places and so many great deals going on for them. Like, you know, I was on Staples website today and you can get, and it might not be Purell, but you can get hand sanitizer for like $1.69. And these are things that are really important because kids have to be carrying them, teachers have to be carrying them. And you just have to want, you just want to make sure that if you're buying hand sanitizer, it's seven in the back, if it's 70 to whatever more, you don't want to pick a hand sanitizer that, that's below 70 because it's not as effective. Mm. So you want to put that into play. And a lot of people aren't thinking about these things. So we have to remember that we have to constantly, constantly prepare for the little things. Like if you go to Old Navy right now, there's masks, kids masks, three for fifteen dollars, adult masks. You know, I think there was some for five for twelve fifty, depending on the styles. So, you know, checking those places out and finding out the cheapest, like reusable masks are important mm. because that's what we're going to have to be wearing everyone right mm, mm. and everyone should be wearing it. if you're on the train if you're on a bus we you know walking we should be wearing masks so was, because like everyone's saying it's not about our health too it's about everybody else's health as well you know so that's really important and i think a lot of people aren't taking that second to think about how to smart shop like how to smart like be a smart shopper right shop smartly and you know inside of speaking of smart shopping we definitely want to make sure I, i'm going to do a real estate plug here really quick this is like a riot because if you are in a neighborhood and let's just say you are congested in your home and trying to do homeschooling i mean i know my family right now i know that my sister-in-law was teaching in her bed my my niece was learning on her bed and my other niece was learning on her bed and then my brother was working in the living room so they had a whole extra like that that they didn't have offices like for every child and so then there might be things that you need to buy so that and, and then some people might have during the spring and summer it was like yeah let's go on the lawn let's go outside but they can't you can't be doing that in the fall and mr softy might be in your neighborhood at random hours and you can't concentrate so then you're going to go and be like, what am I going to do to make sure my kids are learning or staying focused? And another thing that's just popping up, because I swear I have ADD right now, is that, um, or at this moment, what the hell is going on here? There's such, I, I, don't, I don't even get it. So there might be like just foods or products to keep the focus. I mean, I know I use essential oils, so huge. Right. But just going back, there just might be other things to just keep them po po focused, keep them relaxed and keep them calm. And and the name brands for certain things might not matter, you know, too much for other things. They might. And just being able to get what you need. I know that I also didn't want to forget to ask you about this. Um, you this is so weird. Are there how do we are there places we could go to? um like, how do we find coupons and deals? Is there a website that we suggest well, or how do they get a, that? There's a lot of different places, right? Um, you know, to be a smart shopper, remember I, in previous um, episodes, we talked about different things. And one thing is obviously making a list and making sure that um, you have your list and you know exactly what you want to get and making sure that with the list, you also comparison shop, right? That's really important, um, depending on all the things that you need, a list of items of your needs and wants, making a list of possible stores that sell them, cross-referencing those stores to see if you can find the cheapest price. You know, Labor Day, I told you there are, there are some places that are still having Labor Day sales. They're still in effect. Um, making sure that we look at free shipping, you know, besides coupons, and I'll go into that, but free shipping is really important. A lot of places have free shipping for $35 or more. So knowing that certain places have that, like for example, Walmart has that. So we already know Walmart, you can buy groceries, you can buy clothing if you want, you can buy school supplies, mm, home essentials. Mm, mm. Just making sure you find places where if there is a limit of how much you need to spend for free delivery, that you're picking those places to buy certain things, you know? Um, and checking to see if there's you know, coupon codes, online discounts, uh, checking to see if there's any discounted gift cards as well, right? So with that being said, there's a lot of people that you, a lot of money that you can save, right? 
for example, um, besides Staples buying all those products, we we're talking about like your school supplies, home supplies, you know, Erica, you were talking about like getting headphones, right? Or even like a laptop or iPad, Best Buy or places. And we all know about these places, right? But we also need to know how you can get the best. And, you know, going back to not just having the products and knowing where to go to get them, or knowing the, the stores, you're, you can look online. Something I've learned from Jasmine is there's like a one-stop shop for all my shopping needs that I start at to get the best deals. And the way that I get there is I go to Jasmine and I ask her to set me up with an account. So I want to make sure that you guys know that so many people are like, oh, I'm trying to save money. Don't worry. They think they don't. Oh my gosh. They think they don't need like shopping stuff going on right now. We're all shopping. There's something you're buying. I mean, and it could be, you know, stuff related to roaches or bugs or, you know, just things in the house that you might need. And I want to make sure that you guys know everyone's shopping, Sh shampoo, yes. conditioner, cleaning supplies. Like there are different ways to buy it. I, you know, and you were all shopping clothing. Maybe you have different zoom outfits. You know, you want to, People are having still bought mitzvahs on Zoom. So I just want you guys to know that every... Oh, my God. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I, I don't know about Bayside, but this is the one night that everything is happening in Bayside. <laughs> I just dropped an F-bomb on a Zoom. I thought it was wicked. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely places. I think if you're interested in knowing, you can touch base with me, and I'll talk about that later. But right now, you know, if you want to know about some great deals that are going on in everyday deals, like I said, you can go to Staples and I can teach you how to get an extra additional 2% 2, 2 cash back or going to Walmart and getting the same cash back. Right now, like if you're looking for clothes, everyone's trying to do back to school shopping that's still going on. So, for example, like Old Navy, they're having 50%. Do you hear this? 50% on jeans right now. Gap is having five dollar <laughs> leggings, five dollar sales on leggings. I'm laughing so hard because I'm so, guys, I'm so sorry, Jasmine. I never thought I'd drop an F bomb in the middle of what we were doing. I'm for sure. It so, happens. It happens. We had a Zoom bomber, but it was a real life bomber. So it's like, oh my god, what to do? That was just too much. And um. I also want you guys, oh, that's what happened. Even, yeah, I didn't even, I can continue with the sales that right now, because everyone wants to know about the sales, if you haven't gotten a chance to look, like I told you, leggings on Gap, $5 for kids, $6 for adults. On Banana Republic right now, oh, also with Gap, you can get a deal 30% off. And these are coupons that are really right on the website as well. And, and I just really can't stress this enough, though. Just because Jasmine's giving you the discount that I did, you scared the bejesus. I thought you were breaking in on the motorcycle. <laughs> if you need a helmet, by the way, I mean, he's delivering food, no helmet. Uh, besides me, I don't get it. But um, it just like breaks my mind. I'm confused. So it's not that expensive to save your brain, okay? So, um, but I want you guys to know, she might be telling you, okay, discounts, staples, and stip discounts in, in Best Buy, and discounts in Old Navy, and like banana, what have you. But I want you to also know that on top of those discounts, you can get cash back. So if you're watching this, even if you didn't watch the whole thing, you just got here and you're like, wait a minute, you're telling me I can get paid to shop? The answer is yes. 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 So we don't give away all our trade secrets because honestly... If we did, we'd have to kill you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but we're not going to give it. There's a link. And then what's so cool is that all these people who are using this, they're saving so much money and having Jasmine as your shopping consultant. Because I'm like, I've been in sales for 13 years. So I like, I'm, I want to make sure it's stressing, stressing that you cannot get the same savings without having jasmine on your side how do i know because every time i talk about buying this chick pulls websites out she's like oh let me show you she's like seven links let's talk about let's talk about it let's talk about it and she's sitting there with the shopping list and discount you go over here and look we save blah, 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 blah. and i'm like it's like 
what is going on? So you need to consult with her and set up a watch your wallet consultation. I just need to stress. I can't stress that enough because you're going buying money, buying stuff anyway. And then you can put that money in your pocket maybe get your nails done. Yeah. And you might save money on that too. So where are we at now? Or we you think- can buy homes. <laughs> oh yeah, right. You could buy a home. I mean, listen, if you shop enough and you save that money and you want to buy furniture for your home, you want to buy a home, exactly. you want to do, you want to do some updates on your home to put it on the market. Cause sometimes you can save that money. Just do a little paint job, fix the bath, you know, but don't do any of that stuff without talking to me first. Cause some realtors will tell you to do all sorts of nonsense to your house. You don't even need to do. So, but I'm now thinking what a gift I have Jasmine here because sometimes people are going to home Depot. They're going to like um, what are their home stores? Do you have home goods? Yeah. Is that still business? there's overstock, Wayfair, Over- all a part of my company. All part yeah. of your store. So all when people stores. are doing all part of the partner store. So when you're doing that, you get cash back to shop at the stores that you're already shopping at for your home. And then you can either use that to make the home, the actual home sweet home that you want to stay in, or to get the home ready for sale. And you're actually just using the money that you saved from ordinary everyday shopping to do the updates and mini, you know, freshen ups to your home. So amazing. Now let's, let's talk. Now I'm curious, you referenced a lot of these ideas, a lot of sales, a lot of ways to save money. Why should people besides buying a home, besides selling a home, besides Mm-hmm. I mean, why should people make such an effort to save money? Because, girl, sometimes I'm free. I'm freezing. Sometimes I'm so busy. I don't. Go, I feel like I don't got time to go on the website. But why? Why? Well, I think what's really important is that who doesn't want extra money at this point? You know, we're in a pandemic where a lot of people, like 40 million people, have lost their jobs, and a lot of people are currently, you know, on. They're trying to get their checks, their stimulus checks, right? And they're living on that, or they're living on, you know, um, EBT, your food stamps, right? Mm. Or welfare. Or Mm. even the fact that people are genuinely scrounging, right? They're living on unemployment, too. Living paycheck to paycheck. You know, I think people who live in New York City, you know, a lot of people I speak to, they always say, right now, I'm poor. I don't have enough money. You know, I live paycheck to paycheck. I, there's not even an extra dollar that I can put it in a savings account or put it in a piggy bank, right? And, you know, so many people are in debt. You know, I was speaking to someone today that was like, I'm out of a job. Thank God for credit cards, because if I didn't have my credit cards, I technically wouldn't be living, you know, and and I think that says a lot about what's going on in our economy and it worries me and it should worry everyone else. So at this point in the game, during this time, we should focus on saving money because every little penny counts and, you know, having that or thinking about plan B or making extra income or side hustles or any of that sort to give you extra income for either a college career, right? For your children, um, you know, purchasing a home. A lot of people I know I've been talking to you, Eric, a lot of people are trying to purchase homes in different states just to get out of New York City right now or having weekend homes or, you know, paying off debt because that's so important, you know? And a lot of people right now don't can't even retire because they don't have enough money. Mm. Like the well, retirement age is moving up and it's because mm. a lot of people can't save. There's no savings account. Mm, 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 mm. And, and don't get me wrong. There are people who are because people who are smart savers, right? Have 401ks, have IRAs, have retirement funds. But sooner or later, sometimes that runs out as well. So you always want to have an extra form of income an extra savings account to have that extra money because you well, never know what can happen to you. You know, and that's where I want to focus on, that extra form of income, that extra money. And I also want to rescind my, not my offer, but rescind what I said about I don't got time to go on the website. So before Jasmine, before I was willing to really listen to Jasmine, like she showed me about the website like a while ago and I was like, oh God, I don't got time for this. I don't got time for this. I don't got time for this. So it was just like spending money. Like every time I make my shop, I do my shop, I do my shop, but I never went. It's not that hard, guys. The other day I did it. I thought I did it wrong. I got so frustrated. And then I was like, Jasmine, um, this is too challenging. And then she's like, what do you mean? You did it right. You saved money. 
I did not know. I just hit one button and it seemed too easy. I thought I did it wrong. <laughs> I was like, it's so much easier to do it and not have to verify. No, there's nothing to verify. I hit a button, partner store, did my shop, and she can teach you. And then you have it. It's at your fingertips, which is cool. And I want to also let people know you are what you think about. So someone's like, I'm poor. I don't got money. I don't know how I'm going to eat next month. I'm on food stamps. I'm on WIC. I don't have time to retire. Well, listen, if you want to shift that, you got to make your move. If you've done Tony Robbins, make your move. Make your move. Make your move. So my phone's going to make a fall right now, and then we're going to have to make a complaint. Um, But if you don't have a job or if you just want some extra money, you can also become, what's it called, a a partner? Yeah, you you could be a business partner, yes. Okay, so you could be a business partner, right? But that's, and that's an option. So if you're like, what am I supposed to do? How am I going to eat? Everybody else is shopping around you. Why don't you teach them how to save money, get paid for it? Hello. And yeah. you can start with yourself. And then it's just really like a gift. If you're in control of your finances, you're going to feel in control of your life. I'll say that again. If you're in control of your finances, you're going to feel more in control of your life. And if you see Jasmine, she looks so well put together all the time. She's in control of her life. And I want you guys to know that she's here to help you. She's seen stuff that some of us had never seen before. So I'm, I'm really excited about what you referenced and um, about the people, whether that there's basically everybody could use a little savings, whether it's month to month or for to create the dream they're working on right now. And I, I, I do know that there's so much valuable information you've shared, including that there's 40 million people that have lost their jobs during the pandemic. And we've got employment opportunities right here on zoom on a lot of love. So you have so much valuable information. I just want to make sure as we're wrapping up, um, you know, before who do we need to know? Like, I'm sorry, who do you want to know? Who do we need to know? Who do you want to meet like right now so that we can continue to get the information you have in front of the right people? Well, I think anyone who wants to save, anyone who loves deals, like I said, there's so many sales still going on. Um, And I think if you're a shopper, you really need to look because right now is the perfect time, right? They're trying to get rid of their stock inventory as well because it's a new season. So new clothes are coming out. Mm. Um, Anyone who has had life-changing events, you know, if you're buying a home, selling a home, there's definitely ways where I can help you buy furniture. Like first, first hand, I love Macy's furniture store. My whole couch is from Macy's. Furniture is not cheap, right? If you could save money on furniture, why wouldn't you want to? Especially couches, beds, right? Any appliances. Um, if you're having a baby, you know, like that's really important. Getting a lot of clothes. Like I said, Old Navy has so many things going on. Target. Um, anyone who needs help with getting out of debt, I think that's really important because in previous shows, um, a lot of people didn't know. But like I had credit card debt and I got myself out of it because I was able to save and shop smartly, right? Um, everyone who just wants to gain knowledge about saving or want to learn how to make convert like converting their spending into an earning from themselves anyone who wants to make helping others save their business Mm. i think is really important and people i want to meet and you know if you want to learn more and get a free watch your wallet analysis learn how to save money or learn more about how to make this a side hustle or your business you know, you can call or text, private message me. Your super smart, savvy shopping consultant is my number is 845-527-8411. Or you can also find me on my Instagram page, Living the Jazzy Life, and on Facebook, or you can even email at jazzyyan4 at gmail.com. So I want to say thank you. Um, thank you, Jasmine, for being so um uh, extraordinary and being able to teach under any condition, including <laughs> Mr. Softy, the um, person who jumped the curb to make a delivery without a helmet on a motorcycle, the cat that's on the lawn, the dog that's ran by. Um, I mean, you know, the cars with the music, the cars, the music, <laughs> you name it. I also just remembered as I'm watching our neighbor with the cat and she's scout is adorable. So you'll probably meet scout at some point if you haven't already. It's one more 
community that you might want to meet new pet owners because a lot of people got pets during pandemic and there it's a whole new expense they never thought of the food the litter like the, the toys of this of that and i know that there's partner sites that you have that yeah. you know we can talk about but that's just it just reminded me that there's a lot of people even the the dog the it's like the therapy dog. Is that, is that the right word? Therapy dog? Yes. There's, a, there's some sort of emotional support animal, right? So people get that because they're dealing with stress and their doctor might recommend it, but your budget didn't include an animal. And all of a sudden you're an extra 50, $75 a month that you weren't expecting. And you're like, well, what if you could save 10, 15 bucks on that and other things to cover your animals expenses i mean wouldn't that be grand so i just i'm sorry to throw that That in but i think it's like the animal owners i can help why not we'll bring (laughs) we'll bring fiona actually i'll ask adriana to check in with scout maybe we'll do it on the lawn with scout because that's scout on the lawn he's got he's very famous so my god there's a lot of movement here so this is um thank you jasmine (laughs) this is erica rose siegel um we're signing off for now i'm your grateful realtor and we're signing off for now, but not forever. Don't get worried. We're going to see you next week. Next PM. We're going to see you next week at 8 PM. And we're going to be talking about celebrate your success series. We're going to talk about real estate next week. And to Jasmine and I are going to be sharing week after week, all things you don't know that you need to know about shopping and real estate. So until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for being willing to shop with us. Have a beautiful evening. Bye, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.